entering the day at plus two. This for birdie. Nice, easy, flat green here at number one. And he took advantage of that. Tremendous putt. And just a dream start. One was a real brute yesterday. Up to Justin Thomas. His second at the fourth. Wedge in hand. We've seen a number of players utilize the slope right of the hole to get it close. This should come back a little. It's going to get better and better. So Justin Thomas with a great look for a three there at the par four. Very nice second shot, just over six feet down the hill. And another one goes down. That's the fourth group, Paul, that both players have birdied the fourth hole. Uh, just earlier, this was Cameron Tringali with a putt for birdie. We've seen it made already today. A little bit of left movement. And another one goes in. So Tringali, two plus three. My tying's gotten so much better these last couple of days. I don't know if I know what it's, he's saying, but <laughs> I'm going to say it was a good shot. Yeah. Guido's three under on the day. Back to get to four under. Again, a long par three, 221 yards. Hideki Matsuyama. He's got the blade opened up just earlier. Advances at a couple of feet on the collar. Okay, looked like a three all the way. <laughs> Stays at plus two. 221 the hole today. Releases nicely. Look at this. Anybody can start making some moves here. And Adam Shank with his second shot. Right over the top of the flag stick. It might come back. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Perfect. Leaders about an arm away. And over here at four, Colin Morikawa with a putt for birdie. Big swing to the right. Oh, yeah. Well, Morikawa fighting his way back. Gentleman who was one off the lead after the opening round with a 67, the 31 year old Englishman. Third shot here at 17. Putting from well off the green. How about that? The ghosts are alive at they 17. They are. <laughs> Remarkable things happen, and they certainly happen there for Callum Terran. You're the guy hitting the shot. Yeah, no I, I'm the one that puts my name on the, on the scorecard and signs it and tests it. Hit it, win. Hit it, win. Got it. The conversation worth it for Xander Shoffley. Looks like the par streak is going to be over that short one for Birdie. Seamus Power at the first. Hello? Big curling putt finds the bottom. Back out at 11. The second for Andrew Putnam after. The, the head scratcher, Jim, with his tee shot. Oh. I thought that was bad. That's a ball. I mean, there's just no way to figure out what it's going to do coming out of there. So many, I guess some people can think that way. I just think it's simplify it. It's playing this way, it's this club. And, <laughs> and once again. Looked like a three from the start. You know? <laughs> yeah. That was the right club after him. He was laying up short of the penalty area. Got NJ Duffy for birdie at the 18th. He had a three shot lead in this championship at one point at the turn on Friday. On Friday. See how quick they made the decision? Leishman's always played well in the win. Got a number. Yep. Got the club. Hit the got shot. The shot. 10 feet for birdie. Next case. <laughs> but the look at his eyes, I think it's a pretty good line. 
Come on, man. Pretty good shot. You can tell in their yeah. eyes when they see it and they're staring at it. They know they've hit a good one. The other guy shot 90, so I mean, but in this case, at this level, yes, I think it can because you could, it, it kind of just builds. These guys, all of us, try to kind of feed off that momentum. There's another. And again, they're out of. Nice, nice. Talk about feeding off. There's your point. He's going to be staring Will Zalatoris in the eyes here in a little while. Adam Scott at the tenth for birdie. Just getting it started. Well, hello. Boom. Oh. 84th consecutive major championship start. This is one of those guys that played in the U.S. Amateur in 2013, so intimately familiar with the golf course and good opening two shots here at the fur. The odds are very much in his favor to get off to, with an opening birdie. What a start this would be. There it is. What a birdie at the first from McCarthy. We talked about that round he shot yesterday. 68 in some tough conditions. There's Vic for birdie over at 14. Well, Vic's got a few more holes to play. That might be good. That might be bad. <laughs> right now, go either way. Yeah. Here's Harmon over at the fifth with his second. Yeah, Brian scared the leaderboard the first couple days. Oh, he scares the stick. Sure did. Now where will it stop? Oh, it's going to stay on, I think. Yeah, it should. Travis Vick with his second shot. 15, the, uh, certainly has to be one of the longest par fours in U.S. Open history at 527 yards. That's a beautiful shot from the amateur. And here at the fourth, Dan, we've got Aaron Wise with a putt for birdie. Yep. Better that he went to, to the end of the season last year. Hideki Matsuyama, again, on this shortened par three, just 158 today. Gosh, the whole hug in the right edge of this green makes it a real challenge. We've seen a few birdies. You might see another one. If you come up short, it can roll 25 yards off the green. Wow, that's straight up in the air. It's a good shot. Nice start. Good drive. Beautiful wedge shot right on the middle of the green. Popular tourist event. At one, Rory to open with a birdie. Yes, he does. Remember how well McElroy putted to keep the round going on the back nine yesterday. Starting low, cutting a little bit on an aggressive line. No problem. How about that? You know, when you drive it in a divot, it requires your full intensity. Then you went on to win the Masters. Chance for birdie from the divot. Yes, sir. Right, what a start. Start for Scheffler. Beautiful. Yeah. Very good. So that's what he does with his first piece of adversity. Yeah, and he still hasn't made a bogey in on any of the first four holes this week. The only player in the field. This is probably the easiest of the four hole locations I've seen to at least give yourself a birdie putt. This is out to the right. It's got to go just a little bit. Yeah, how are going to use the tilt in the green? And Shane mentioned he's already been 17 birdies. It's going to funnel all the way down. It's really well done. Yeah. yeah, one heck of a shot right there. But that's going to stay up on that ridge, it looks like. And I believe a. Uh, it's trying. Ticklish. It's trying to get down to the flat there. Yeah, I, <laughs> Still I think moving. it's going to stay up. Oh, Still smooth. Going now. Oh. Wow. What I'll just shot. tell you right there, that is one heck of a shot because that ball almost stopped up there. Nicely done. So McCarthy to one under par. That is the first time this week he has been in red figures. 
Fairly level putt here speed wise, just moving to his right. Another one for Shuffler. And that ties him for the lead before Zalatoris and Fitzpatrick can even get out. To the course. Three big one putts in a row going back to last night. Anybody else in the field, Dan? So everybody's out on the course, up ahead. Bradley for par out of the bunker. Just don't know to spin it to a front hole location. The tilt in the green is at the front. Oh, this is very high. It needs to sit. And it's gonna. Oh, what a shot. Stopped it on a line. Chance for three birdies in his first five holes. Under yeah. the collar quickly. I'm okay. Tr right. Tringali at 12, his second. Well, who's who am I to judge that? Oh, beautiful oh. shot. Oh, best we have seen this afternoon. Scott hit a good one. Shank. Yeah. Good all the way. Getting ready to go through three. that thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he thought he had maybe got it out too far and had the perfect speed just to die in. It's free. Just right in the middle of the green. Yeah, you would certainly love a little right to left wind where you could take it about where Rory just hit that and move it to the flag. Good news is just come back short of pin high, so that will take some of the break out of it and some of the speed out of it. Right to lefters are that draw it make uh, a lot of right to left putts. He's made a lot of them. Over to three. And Adam Hadwin, long one for par for the Canadian. Yeah. That helps. Well, unexpected par there, perhaps. And Joel up to the Damon. fifth for Joel Damon. Yeah. Still hanging in there. I've seen a couple guys lay this ball up here at five, and they're going to make birdies doing it. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot. I think Damon can make that one. I mean, he yeah. has been looking to get his putter rolling. Can Damon finally unleash some birdies here on the most important day? That's a start, and Joel Damon to one under. To he agrees. That's his he first picked. birdie in 25 holes. We go back to two. Zalatoris tested here. That putter. And he's still not in. Only about 35 yards. Visually intimidating, but he's hit a nice one here. Ooh. Shot. He's now three out of the lead. Now Sam Burns for birdie. Downhill right center putt. Knocks it in. And how about that? I know he's been struggling trying to trust what he's doing with his golf swing and this shot pattern, but still. No struggles there. Sometimes you talk about it and you start believing it after a while. And I mean, at least he admitted it. A beautiful punt there. Uh, that doesn't mean he's not going to try. His, like you said, his off is not much. And erasing that bogey at the fifth. With a birdie at the tough sixth. Back to three. And Fitzpatrick. This to tie. And he looks deadly from 10 feet in. And well, he's made the most birdies of anybody in the field so far, David. Well, we'll see that little short stroke again. Today, and speaking of the seventh, and speaking of Joel Damon, the birdie putt here, Gary. So I'm going to make a nice putt in the previous hole for par. And there we go, moving in the right direction. 
man who said, oh, I can't win major championships. But There's a different strategy. Championship leader going to lay up. Oh, sorry, this is sixth. No lay up here. That's a fantastic shot. I thought he was on 5 tee for a second there. My bad, but what a shot. Will Zalatoris for par was just short of the green in two. Put it to this position. All right, that'll help. After bogeying two and three, good putt there. You know, Scotty Scheffler is, is doing something that, that we all dreamed about, just getting comfortable in the final group of these big tournaments for four birdies in the first six holes. 14 feet. Another one. It's a race to see who can get the most comfortable first, and right now, Scotty Scheffler's winning the race four under through six holes. Now, Munoz at 11. Doesn't always work like that. Munoz went to the Sanderson Farms back home in Mississippi at the Country Club of Jackson. Beautiful oh, shot. Denny Burko. Yes. Oh, he tried. Talk about it. Left side of the fairway. Oh, Ooh, Does, did, he, did he? Can't make this stuff up. And so now Fitzpatrick is one back as he plays his tee shot at five, Raj. Yeah, and Zalatoris has already laid up. His tee shot on the way, picked up the tee in a hurry. Look at this, this guy shot. has not missed his shot so far. He's just got the quick tempo. He knows he's in the groove, unlike he was at the PGA Championship where he said, I didn't have my A game. Zalatoris, after laying up here at the fifth, 114 yards, he's late up every day here. This was just earlier. Talk about a weird swing. How about that finish? How about that shot? That's right. Solid. Puts with that stick in. That just did curl in there, and he's birdied the fifth all four days. Here's Hideki Matsuyama over at number 12. Did he? Oh, he did. Hmm. Don't count him out yet. What a round of golf. Yeah. Bogey free. So he'll remain four back of the co leaders. First drop shot by Fitzpatrick. Ooh, that's it. <laughs> that was right in the middle. Little hitch in his giddy up there, but First he made birdie. it. For Zala Torres after the tough start. Well, he's yelling, go, 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 right away. Careful. I think it'll stay. You think? No, now I don't. <laughs> it got to that little false edge. Oh my gosh, Gary. Uh, what a disaster. Uh, the eighth hole wants payback, doesn't it? Yes. I'll tell you what, this next one is going to be a nervous shot. The first one was tricky. This one is going to be about the nerves. Talking about his second shot. That's better. Yeah, there you go. Boy, well I tell you, every time he looks like he may slip up, he just seems to right the ship. Well, it's a back left hole location. It's good for this wind condition to yeah. shape it in there. Anywhere but left. for the same price. Uh, it's a nervous walk between shots now, and everybody's feeling it at this point in the event, I think. Yeah. Well. Yeah. 
What a save. What a save. So Scotty Scheffler remains bogey free, six under, and one shot ahead.